A former chief of the Indian Air Force has said that the Rafale fighters will restore the technological edge that the Indian Air Force had enjoyed in the region. And while 36 Rafale fighters might prove to be effective in winning a small-scale engagement against the adversaries, but the Indian Air Force requires the full complement of 126 fighter jets for air dominance. The induction of more Rafale fighters can help with falling combat squadrons, as most of the infrastructure cost has already been made in the earlier contract for 36 aircraft, and the inventory management and maintenance training would also be more cost-effective compared to induction of a completely new aircraft. He also said that the RDO and HAL must compress the timeline in the development of the AMCA, and there is a need to ramp up the production of the Tejas light combat aircraft and upgrade the Su-30 fleet for operational viability. India has successfully tested the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from the Navy's indigenously built stealth destroyer INS Chennai in the Arabian Sea, and it hit the target successfully with pinpoint accuracy after performing extremely complex maneuvers. The test of the naval variant comes after the recent successful test of 500 km range BrahMos extended range variant from a truck-based launcher. The Indian Air Force has already tested the 450 km range BrahMos air launched variant from a Su-30, and is in the process of integrating them on 40 Su-30 fighter jets. The Indian Air Force chief has confirmed that the Air Force has received the complete delivery of the first batch of 50 limited series Astro Mark I, and they are now fully operational on the Su-30. The Indian Air Force and Indian Navy have recently placed orders for 250 Astra Mark I, and currently some production-related constraints are being addressed, as the Tejas Mark I-A Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 New PG are in line to be integrated with the Astra system. Alpha Design Technologies has signed the first of the two phase defense contracts worth 753 crore rupees with the Ministry of Defense and Russian Aircraft Corporation, as it has been chosen to build and maintain two types of simulators for fighter jets. Under the first contract worth 53 crore rupees, Alpha Design Technologies would establish and run the MiG-29 simulator center for two years after which the second contract for 700 crore rupees would be signed. A senior official has said that the Indian Army requires around 9.5 lakh rifles, and the order for second batch of 73,716 rifles will be placed by December, and the Army is not interested in the 7.62 by 51 mm rifle prototype developed by the Ordnance Factory Board, which has issues related to time quality and pricing, and the requirements will be met by AK-203 Make in India project with Russian collaboration. He also added that the fast-track deliveries of 16,479 Negev light machine guns will begin from January 2021. Five companies have been shortlisted for the subsequent project to manufacture the remaining 40,500 light machine guns in India, for which the trials will begin in early 2021. The request for proposal to locally manufacture 4.6 lakh carbines will also be issued in early 2021. The Indian Institute of Technology has entered into a memorandum of understanding with the DRDO and the Central Reserve Police Force, to fulfill the needs of the collaborative directed research training and management of futuristic technologies, that will boost the internal security and defense of the country. The Memorandum of Understanding will help the students and researchers to understand the realities of the field requirements related to technology human interactions data collection and analytics. The Central Reserve Police Force has also planned to create a pool of high technology experts from among its officers, that will update their skills in handling unprecedented situations.